Pendo means uh, love and uh, Huraha means laughter. So there are two children here. They have not stepped their feet into any institution. We have their little brother here, their, their, their second born. We have their elder brother over there. And uh, we have their mother with their uncle. And um, we, they have their elder sister who have just finished the primary education. Uh, the same, they are, yeah, she has not gone to a secondary school. And uh, you can that is the bathroom that they're using to shower every day when they wake up early in the morning. Yeah, and, uh, you can see they are, they don't have a toilet. Not your toilet, mommy. Now come to the toilet. Then go to my then go out. Up, up, and down. So that that is a, that is the same place that you see. Uh, they having bathroom and toilet at the same time. But uh, we uh, we pray to God. Uh, when we will construct their house, we'll construct a semi-permanent house mm -hmm. which will contain a toilet inside and right. a bathroom inside. And that's only two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that is another two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And um, from apart from that, we will look for a budget of taking these uh, kids uh, to school. My apologies, brothers and sisters, for the delay in this video on spontaneous recovery. You all know that I'm a real missionary. Um, I do real missionary work on the ground, foot soldier for the Most High. Today, as I do part four, it is April the 1st, April the 1st, 2024. And I am recording this video from the big city uh, in Kenya. And I'm excited to do this for you all. And of course, all of you all should be participating in the month long fruit fast. It is called the once and for all soar in 24 fruit fast once and for all. It's just, it's just time to do it, you know, and and this was inspired by myself. Um, I, I put on a suit that I hadn't been able to fit in over a year from the 70 pounds that I gained or 50 or so pound in 2023 i started the year at 183 i ended the year at 234 so that tells you the type of year i had well minister what were you eating um vegan junk food which i'll have a book coming out on the dangers of vegan junk food and so i'm i've lost about half of it put on a suit yesterday and i was encouraged actually because i could fit it i could fit the pants but it was tight and I was like, man, you only about 20 pounds away, Negro. You need that's what I told telling myself. I said, Negro, you need to stop playing around. Like, come on, man. And in this month, the schools are out. Spoke at 19 high schools. Uh, I spoke. I preached 20 times in the month of March, 20 times in the month of March. All praises to the most high. Uh, we impacted tens of thousands of lives because of your support. Uh, missionary work is very costly. That's why I have to stay on the leeches because I'm not a YouTuber um, and I preach 20 times. So the high schools are out in the month of April here, which means I'll be more stationary. And because I'll be more stationary, this is the perfect month to go ahead and do a strict fruit fast. And then not only is, 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 is it is ironic that April is the month where the real new year starts, according to the most high. The real new year starts in this month of April. Is that a coincidence? It's perfectly lined up with 30 days. 30 days is 720 hours. I'm not moving around as much because the high schools are out. So it's no excuses. Then there's a little gym right outside from where I'm at. So it's no excuse. So when I put the suit on and saw that out, how close I am, that's what I told myself. I said, man, it, it's time to just get this done. The, the goal is to soar in 24. Once and for all. It's time. It's time out. No excuses. And I want you to have that same attitude. It's time. Once and for all. Get off the blood pressure drugs. Get off the insulin. Get away from running in and out of the doctor's office. Wasting time. Get off the anxiety drugs. Get your mind right. Get your immune. It's time, family. We must soar in 24. If you dibble dabble January, February, March, 
once and for all, it's time. And that's the hard stands I'm making. And so I'm saying it's time for us to hold each other accountable and it's time to get it down. Stop playing with the last 20 pounds. Stop playing with the last 30, 40 pounds. Stop saying what you're going to do, but you haven't done it yet. Once and for all, let this be the month that we soar in 24. So we can soar the rest of this year and then all praises to the most high. We can thrive in 25. So in the end, it worked out that I was so busy that it it backlogged me on my my. This is the third revision of the components of food addiction. We've done the first three parts, which you should watch in their own separate playlist. The pleasure trap cravings, the extinction burst. And now we're on the fourth component, spontaneous recovery. And we're doing this as we kick off our fruit fasting journey, because you can't do no fruits if you don't understand food addiction. If you don't understand that this is a spiritual war, that we are wrestling against demonic forces of evil, you can't defeat this and you won't defeat it. You definitely not going to defeat it because listening to these average preachers out here, because even the best of the holiness pastors are idiots when they come to health. They're idiots. I told somebody the other day I was listening, looking at uh, EX Ministries, the legendary G. Craig Lewis, who became famous throughout the black church for his series on the truth about hip hop. And I remember years ago when he boldly, without a single scripture to support He has this Pauline idolatry when it comes to flesh. It's all about we have to eat meat. This man really teaches. He teaches fat, sick black folk that veganism is witchcraft. G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries, he teaches that veganism is witchcraft. So you're accusing Jesus of being a witch. That's witchcraft to even say something like that. You've never heard of the Nazarene movement, the Essene. This is the this is the utter dangerous stupidity of listening to Christian pastors and even Hebrew Israelites when it comes to health. They're more, they know nothing about health. They have a strong lust for animal flesh. And this man has gone so far as to state that if you don't eat meat, you're practicing witchcraft. That is some of the most blasphemous stuff. And then I, but I looked at a recent sermon of his yesterday and he was fat. He looked like a butterball, just like he did when he when he first started. And he had he yo-yoed his weight up and down. But now he's he's fat. He's just straight fat. He's a butterball. But what can you expect from a man that has that type? And then you look in this congregation and you see obesity all over the place. He tried to stand strong during covid, but he couldn't. He had to shut the church down. You hadn't prepared them to be able to withstand no virus. You're teaching that eating meat, that if you don't eat meat, that is witchcraft. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. So you're not going to find no help in your spiritual institutions. This is the only Bible based ministry of a kind for people of faith that want to that 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 are ready to take their health to the next level. This is the only ministry of his kind. And I'm honored, but my goal is to turn each and every last one of you watching this, listening to this video. I want you to be a minister of wellness. I want you to be a minister of wellness. And that's why I'm here in the motherland working day and night to spread this word. That's why I'm committed to writing 40 books. That's why I'm committed to doing to to not resting day and night to get this message out. Spontaneous recovery, brothers and sisters. Why do people fall off? Why do I fall off? Why do you fall off? Why do we fall on and off, on and off? Go three months and then you fall off. You go six months and fall off. It's time to stop the vicious cycle. How do you stop that vicious cycle and why does it happen? Why do people stop smoking cigarettes for five years? Then they start back smoking again. Then they never able to quit. Why is it that when we fall off it's harder to restart than before we fell off? What is that? That's called spontaneous recovery. Spontaneous recovery 
is summed up in this scripture. Here's the exact scripture in uh, Proverbs. No, I'm sorry. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. OK, that's first Peter five, eight. This is the scripture that addresses spontaneous recovery, falling on and off. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. That is spontaneous recovery. That is why we fall off. Because we get comfortable. We don't stay vigilant. We get tired and weary of fighting the war. And this applies to any addiction. Whether it's addiction to pornography, addiction to sex, addiction to your phone, addiction to social media, addiction to entertainment, addiction to attention. This is a war. And Satan is working 24 seven. Satan and his demons, they don't sleep. They don't rest. And that's why we need to be eating healthy in a manner to where we're not lethargic. We have to eat in a manner to where we're sober minded, to where we have the full capacity to fight this spiritual battle. You can't do that eating junk food. Be sober. Most of us are doped up on sugar. We're doped up on white flour. Our colon and our brain is filled with fat back, saturated fats and oils from fried chicken, fish, which is not healthy. There's no such thing as healthy meats. I don't care what you say. You can be as hard headed as you want to. There's nothing healthy about any flesh that comes from any animal, any milk, any dairy, any cheese, nothing healthy about it. Leave them animals alone. Stop bothering God's creation. Stop bothering God's creation. You'll never be healed participating in the brutal murder of God's animals. Never. You'll never be healed. You'll never experience a full abundant life. Be sober. It's not just talking about alcoholism, which that is a sin that you need to overcome using these same principles. That's just not talking about cigarettes. They put chemicals in the food that's making you drunk. Chemicals in the food that's killing you. But you have to keep coming back to experience that dopamine high. And the Bible says you have to be sober minded. You have to be vigilant. You can't be vigilant if you're tired all the time because you're binging every day. Pizza rolls and hot dogs and chicken wings and potato chips. This stuff makes you lethargic. It strips away your vigilance because you just want to nap all day and watch movies and scroll and swipe through social media. You don't have the vigilance to fight. You don't have the sobriety of mind to fight because your mind is fixed on when you can get your next dopamine hit. What restaurant you going to? What you eating for lunch, for snack, for dinner? Your entire mind is consumed with satisfying the God of your stomach. You're not fit to be a soldier in this war. So Satan is eating you alive. Satan is eating you alive. The only foods that can give you the vigilance of foods that's not cooked. You can do cooked foods. I did cook foods in March. And that's why I still can't completely fit my suits. Because nothing will give you the power of raw fruits. Nothing. We can fight it. We can slice it and dice it. Our flesh doesn't like it, including my flesh, but it's facts. The raw fruit fast, eating the fruit in the manner that God created it, eating according to our physiological design, like every other species that God has created. We are the only dummies that manipulate the food that he gave us. We're the only dummies that fight against what he gave us to eat. We're the only dummies that war against nature. We're the only dummies that do it. The giraffe eats the leaves off the tree. The rhino eats the grass. 
The squirrel eats the acorn. The lion eats the raw meat and the organs and the blood. The vulture eats the dead, rotten carcass, carcass flesh. Humans, we're the only ones that need a five course meal. The need to fry this and bake this and boil this. But for those of you who get on this once and for all sore and 24 fruit fast or even after your fruit fasting journey, you will see the power of the most high reinvigorate you to where you'll lead, need little to no sleep. And that scares a lot of people. I heard an old wise man from India say fruit fasting isn't for most people because most people want to stay. They want to stay drunk. They want to stay in a state of drunkenness that causes them to be lethargic, because when you get on the raw fruits, when you tap into the full power that God has put in his medicine foods. It gives you a power that keeps you awake. And it extends your day. Yeah. And so now you have to deal with the boredom. And many of us can't we can't overcome the boredom of being wide awake. That's why they give us junk food, toxic junk food that dulls the senses that make you need naps all throughout the day. You don't need no naps on fruit. You don't need no naps on fruit. I don't care if you're 90 years old. You don't need naps on fruit. Mama Jones, I know you're listening to this. Can you attest to this in the comment section, Mama? When you're on strict fruits, Mama, Mama Jones, 75 years old, can you put it in the comment section? Can you validate this statement? Or if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section, Mama. When you do, when you're doing straight fruits, like past a week or two on nothing but raw fruits, do you need naps? At 75 years old, do you need naps? No, that napping and all of that extra sleep, that's because your digestive system is working overtime trying to break down all that toxic gunk. No, you get on fruits, you do, you're wide awake. And then now you have to deal with the boredom with Satan playing with your mind. And now you have to learn how to fill that void of boredom with productive activities. And so most people can't do that. So they do things to force themselves to be asleep. And America is a nation of the walking dead, dumbed down, demonized, demoralized. They want to work and then eat foods to help them forget about the workday. They want to work and then watch things to forget, to help them forget about life. And that's the entire culture of America. A bunch of dumbed down zombies. Zombied out from junk food and toxic entertainment. Your donations were critical to help me come over to the motherland and help to feed these beautiful children that you see. Uh, and so as you see them eating fruit that from your support, supporting local Kenyan farmers to feed these beautiful children food. And what I asked you all and what I was telling you all was that we did not just want to feed the children the fruit today, okay? Many of them will be going back to their parents and they can't afford healthy fruit. And so it is up to us brothers and sisters that have to work together to make sure that we are, that we are doing the first and foremost commission that God has given us, and that is to be a blessing to the fatherless, a blessing to the widows. So please, your hundred dollar seed goes a long way in helping to feed the children so that long after I go, I want them to have the, the fruits that they need to grow up, be healthy and strong. Many of them told me that they wanted to be a police officer. Who's the one say they want to be a police officer? And then we had a child that said she want to be a nurse, wants to be a firefighter, wants to be a medical doctor. And now they understand that they have to eat the medicine foods of God to do that. If you have been blessed by me, your minister of wellness, I'm telling you, I'm looking you in the eye and I'm telling you you are wrong if you ignore the call to give to help me serve these children do not waste money on things you don't need when you see 
that we have thousands of children that are in need of your assistance. And for those who have answered the call to give, may God richly bless you for your support. Thank you and shalom. So this walk isn't for most people because, yeah, you get on raw fruits, but it's the only way to be vigilant. Now you wide awake and now it's time to master using that time to educate yourself, to empower yourself for the war that's at hand because Satan never stops. You think Satan is eating Pringles? Do you think the devil and his demons are eating Pringles and hot dogs and pizza and cake and ice cream? I don't think so. See, so the Bible says that Satan is vigilant. Do you understand what that word means? Satan is vigilant. It's always good to look up definitions. Vigilant, def vigilant. No, we have to be vigilant, alert, watchful to avoid danger. How can you be alert if you sleep all the time because you're eating all this junk food? You're not alert. But the devil is always walking about saying whom he may devour. While you sleep, the devil is working. While you eating junk food, the devil is working. And the fruit fad, the medicine foods of God prepares you for that. Satan always. And as soon as you drop your vigilance, that's when you fall off. And I'm a living witness to this. I used to be I was vigilant when I first lost my 100 pounds. When I became a nutritarian, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries and seeds. Oh, I was vigilant. All I was doing was reading. I'm telling you, I've read all of Dr. Joel Furman's books three, four times over. Each of his books, I will read over and over and over. His bestseller, Eat to Live, I probably read five times. I was vigilant. I was very strict. And that's why I was 168 pounds with a stomach that looked like a wall, built like a statue. Could run 100 minutes in a row without breathing hard. I would go run for 100 minutes and then I wouldn't even be breathing hard. Oh, it felt so good. But oh, I was vigilant family. I was very careful. I went a year and a half at one point and I didn't even watch my favorite sport boxing. I even gave up my favorite sport boxing. Now, as I as I listen to this video, even me. Satan is always trying to sift me as we so even in my head, I know it's April 1st and May the 18th. Tyson Fury is supposed to fight Alexander Usyk for the heavyweight championship. But see, for a year and a half, I didn't know who was fighting when I was vigilant. And I experienced extreme spiritual growth and personal development during that year and a half. I didn't know who was fighting. I didn't care. I didn't know about the next football game. I didn't care. I was watching things to keep me away from sports and movies. I was listening to documentaries and preachers that were talking about how evil Hollywood is and how evil. I didn't watch any of that stuff. I didn't do no movies, no action, no Denzel, no boxing and brothers and sisters. Oh, I tell you, the spiritual and personal growth I experienced during that time. I was vigilant. I was sober minded and the devil couldn't touch me. Spontaneous recovery. The fourth component of food addiction is when you cease to be vigilant. You get tired. The devil never gets tired. He's indefatigable. When you're thinking about quitting, Satan is on your behind. 
He never stops. Evil never stops. And the only way that we can stay vigilant against a monster who, who doesn't suffer fatigue, Satan don't get tired. Shoot, you talk about a box in a 15 round fight. Shoot, Satan will go 100 rounds with you. He'll go a thousand rounds. Man, how can we keep up with that, Fruits? Man, I can't keep up with Satan. That's not true. Yes, you can. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Who, how, how dare or you, you, you trying to, or you dare to question God? See, that's what I'm saying. You eat all this junk. All this junk for all these lies you've accepted that made you fat and sick. But all of a sudden, when you come across clear scriptures that tell us how we can also be indefatigable, now you have all these doubts in your mind. How dare you? But you call yourself a believer in Jesus Christ and Yahshua. How dare you? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There's nothing impossible with God. Who gives the sun the heat? Who gives the who who brings the rain from the clouds? Who can hold lightning in his fist? Who controls the thunder? Who gives the giraffe his height? The lion his roar? The leopard his spots? Who turns a seed into a mighty tree? Who can open up the earth and close it? Who controls the hurricane? Who controls the tornado? Who can create a vicious storm? And then go into the midst of a storm and say, peace be still. He is the God of everyone and everything, including Satan. And he has given us a road map and the fruits, the raw fruits, untouched by heat in their natural state, especially with the seed in it. But don't you dare give up, Negro, because it don't have the seed in it. You cut that foolishness out. Don't you dare let Satan because you have to do the best you can. So don't you sit here and shut off the video and go back and eat your do your dookie fried chicken, your doo doo fried chicken or your or your transgender fish. Oh, yeah. Most of the fish you eat, Negro, is transgender fish because of the chemicals in the water. You're eating transgender fish and you wonder why we suffering from this from this alphabet agenda to dare give up. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You don't really have no faith. Questioning the ability of God to help you fight this battle to overcome your addiction. You don't really have no faith. Faith without works is dead. Prove it. I am your buckler. I'm your strength. You're ever at present help in a time of trouble. You don't believe that. God said, I am your ever present help. He said, there's no temptation that I can't give you the power to overcome. I don't care how how much you crave in those chips, that cookie, that hot dog, that piece of fish, that chicken, that I don't care. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You don't believe it. We don't believe it. We don't. When that craving comes, we throw all that out the window. We fake. And that's why we all on this journey. We That's why we still fat and trying to lose weight and feet. Getting the suit and saying the same doggone goals for 30, 40, 50, 60 days. Doggone it. It's time to stop playing games and get it over with. I'm getting it over. I'm making a bold declaration on this day. The fourth component of food addiction revised some spontaneous recovery will have no power over me anymore. This month in April, I'm telling you right now, April the 30th, 2024, that suit that I said that I need about 20 more. I'm putting on that suit and I'm going to post a picture with me with that suit. on. I'm telling you and you hold me accountable. Doggone it. I'm tired of playing games. Satan will not sift me as weed anymore when it comes to this journey. I'm sick of this. Aren't you tired? Aren't you sick and tired? I told a sister the other day, you're not broken enough. Oh, I have questions about fruit and instant. I ain't said, told you a million times, a million times fruit. The fruit sugar doesn't require insulin. It goes through cell infusion. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision 
you should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is backed by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support, detox, gut health, mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package, theministerofwellness.com, theministerofwellness.com, or call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. Eight four seven eighty twenty six. We have everything in stock, brothers and sisters, except for the DHA EPA. It'll be back soon. But all orders are caught up. Our inventory is full. Listen, when you support the Minister of Wellness Ministries online store at the retail cost, it truly helps us out because we use the profits to fund critical ministry expenses, such as funding our missionary work, financially supporting our small team of workers, and paying the thousands of dollars of monthly bills related to running this healing ministry. Running sales are great on rare occasions, but overall, they hurt the financial health of the ministry. I know you all love them, but overall, it hurts the financial health of the ministry. So please consider this next time you're in need of supplementation. The Minister of Wellness labeled and approved organic iris sea moss, organic vitamin C, organic superfood powder, herbal extracts, and much more of the highest quality and potent, a brand you can always trust but also you can have the peace and joy of knowing that every dime of profit is being used to support this one of a kind revolutionary healing ministry. If you need help placing an order, please call 888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. Call or text that number 888-847-8026. Or you can visit our vast online store at the minister of wellness.com knowledge is power brothers and sisters don't forget about your knowledge uh, i am the author of five books your minister of wellness five books lose 100 pounds in 100 days that's a book based on a real life life testimonial help the brother lose 100 pounds in 100 days his exact meal plan and exercise plan is in that book along with the 12 components of food addiction at the end, biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease. It covers the top killers and how eating healthy change in what we eat can help eradicate those diseases. According to the word of God, exposing the deadly slave theology of the black church concerning health and nutrition, uh, Jesus will bless you, your junk food saying grace uh, under the new covenant. We don't need to worry about the dietary laws. These critical theological issues revolving food, nutrition, and our walk with Christ is covered in that book. Exposing the satanic religion of the you know what. Such an important yet controversial book. I can't even show the cover on the screen and then the latest book that i made right here for the motherland is the homosexual war that's being waged to remove africa from god's divine protection the minister of wellness.com under books the minister of wellness.com under books or call 888-847-8026 call or text 888-847-8026 888-847-8026 Eight four seven eighty twenty six. Why are you questioning God? 
He gave us the fruit with the seed in it. Genesis 1 29. He healed King Hezekiah with figs. Book of Isaiah. He said that at the end that it will be the fruit of the tree that will be for the healing of the nations. Revelations 22 2. He the one that stated that the wolf and the lamb and the lion and the ox. He's the one that stated that it won't be no carnivores no more. Isaiah 10. This is God's way. Satan is sober. Satan is on point. He's on task and we're off task. That's why we fall on and off. That's spontaneous recovery. The flesh never gives up. Satan never gives up. Satan doesn't get tired. Satan doesn't quit. Satan keeps fighting. Satan has a goal to keep you sick, to keep you evil so that you are not effective for the Lord. You ain't effective for the Lord. Have your time is in and out of the hospital. Who have you helped today? Talking about you a Christian, talking about you an Israelite. Who have you helped today? You too busy trying to take care of your disease. You too fat to help anybody. You too doped up on junk food. You too tired to help anybody. You're tired. You're sick. You're overweight. You don't have the strength to, 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 to do your part in helping others to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it's high time that changes. It's high time that changes. You have to stay vigilant. Get that mind sober by doing the fruits in the in the description box. Again, those who want it, they know how to find the videos in the description box. Of every video, eat your fruits, juice your vegetables, take your herbs. You all better take advantage of this month for those who are blessed to listen to this as they air. If you are after the fact, it's never too late because all my videos are archived. But if you're listening to this live, you're blessed because next month I'm, the schools are open back up, family. I'm going to be very busy preaching, doing missionary work. Take advantage of me this month where I'll be live every day, posting videos every day. You all know how I do. You all know I go hard for you. But I'm telling you, the Lord has told me that Nathaniel, this is the month right here. This is the month. Get the weight down. Get the weight off. Stop playing around once and for all. Because something terrible is coming on the horizon. The days of America are numbered. Biological warfare is coming. We have to get our health together as soon as possible. And all this yo-yo dieting because you're not staying vigilant. So how do you get back on track once you fall off? Because it's hard, man. When you fall off, why is it so hard to restart? Because now you allow your brain to learn how to fight against you trying to change it. The brain doesn't want to change. The brain wants to do what gives it the most pleasure. So when you stopped and you were doing good, the subconscious mind, the flesh, Satan, demonic forces are always there tempting you. The flesh never gives up. I don't care if you stop smoking for 10 years. There's always going to be something in your mind telling you, pick that cigarette up, pick that cigarette up. And you'll always have idiots around you, which we'll talk about social normalcy next tomorrow idiots around you trying to tempt you that's why it's important to watch your inner circle but we'll talk about that with social normalcy so they'll be tempting you oh man you and already you and you be you ain't been smoking for 10 years there's nothing wrong with lighting up a cigar for for a new year celebration when new year's is in the spring anyway then you sit there and listen to that dodo and you fire up that cigarette and all of a sudden, all of that addiction that you thought you had suppressed, it comes back like a roaring lion, just like the Bible says. All it takes is a single moment of letting your guard down. And that's all it takes because Satan never lets his guard down.
if you are benefiting from me as your minister of wellness, if I help you with your health, if you are binge watching my videos, tuning into the services, I am telling you on the authority of the Holy Scriptures, you have a responsibility to help me when you see where your money is going. It's not going towards a fancy car, it's not going towards big homes, it's going towards helping the fatherless, helping those who are in need. And that is a great responsibility that we all have. So again, you know where the, the, the information is, where you can give so that we can provide uh, not only this children's center here, but other children's centers, not only just all across Kenya, but all throughout the motherland and eventually all throughout the world. So I sincerely thank you all for your support. And for those who see this, and you are one of those who continuously benefit from my ministry. I want you to take a look at all of these beautiful children here. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't give to help me to be a support to these children, shame on you. And I am disappointed in you. And I know you can do better than that. Thank you and God bless you all. That's all it takes. And now the brain has learned how to fight against your attempts to restart doing the right thing. The brain learned. See, the brain was trying to figure out the whole time, man, how do I get my addiction back? How do I get this person back to the addiction? How do I do it? The brain was always working with the help of Satan and demonic forces and your flesh all working together to learn what can, how can we trick them back on these chips, back on this cigarette, back on this porn, back on the social media? How can we get them back? Because we miss our high. And it, it never stops trying. Then in that moment of weakness, boom. Now it seems like it's harder than ever. How do you get it back? How do you restart? How do you restart? How do I restart? And stay on the path. Well, it's recognizing that you fell off is recognizing the problem. Recognizing the disobedience to the commandments of God to stay vigilant. And like I said in the other videos. Being a broken and contrite heart. A broken and contrite heart before the Lord. And saying, Lord, I need your help. I fell off. That's what it's about. And I want to pick myself back up, get rid of it again, fasting from entertainment, get back vigilant. What did you do that work? Get back to it. Me today, family, even even though all of my social media is solely for ministry purposes, I deleted it off my phone. I don't need to see. I don't need to be swiping on my phone. So I, I just delete. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I delete it because I'm going to soar. And I'm telling you, April 30th, I'm putting on that suit and I'm going to look good in that suit. All praises to the most high. What about you? What can't you fit because you need 30, 40 power? How many Medicaid, whatever it is, how many medications are you on? April 30th, you should be off all of them and you should send a success story. What's that dress you haven't been able to wear in several years? What is it? For me, it's that suit. I want to put that suit on comfortably. And I'm going to post that video April 30th and nothing's going to stand in my way. I deleted my Facebook app, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I deleted it off my phone. I can I can post from my laptop. But when I'm not on my laptop, I don't need to see them apps on my phone. Every time you open up the open up the phone, all it's trying to do is tempt you to watch stuff you ain't supposed to be watching. Sports, porn, movies. I don't care about Jay-Z. He's a Satanist. Why are you showing me stuff about Beyonce? She's a witch. I don't care about that witch. It's always some trash. Turn it off. See? Bow down, cry out to the Lord, get your notebook out, write down your goals, write down your goals, confess the sin. Eating wrong is a sin. If you don't believe that, you'll never make it. You can go listen to that butterball G. Craig Lewis because he on his way to cancer, prostate. I mean, this man saying that if you don't eat meat, that you you a, a witch could do witchcraft. He's lost. You want to go listen to them past the pork chops? Or them lamb, or them uh, pastor lamb chops, the Hebrew Israelites that have you barbecuing lamb on Passover. 
desecrating the sacrifice of our vegan Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, sure. You want to go listen to them clowns? Go ahead. But if you really want to live an abundant life, if you want to make it to 120 and die peacefully in your sleep, Without any suffering and pain, if you want to live a pain free life, you want to survive the next pandemic, you're tired of being in and out of the doctor's office, then you have to recognize that anytime you fall off with eating things you shouldn't be eating, you are sinning against God. You're violating the laws of God. You ain't ready to do that, then you ain't going to make it. So for those of us who are ready to do that, let's do a prayer. So we can kick this spontaneous recovery. Let's go ahead. That's our scripture. First Peter five, eight spontaneous recovery. The brain never stops. Satan is busy right now. He's angry right now. Just the fact that you listening to this video, he's getting his battle plan together. Uh, you ain't getting off them chips. You're not getting off them chips. You're not going fruit fast. No homo. Oh, I got something for you. That's what Satan is saying right now. What you going to do about it? What we going to do about it? We going to tap into the force of the God who is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The God who said with just the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. He said he is greater. That there is no demonic forces, no satanic forces, no nothing more powerful, more greater than the almighty God, Yahuwah, the Elohim, the great I am, Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. Like, share, like, share, like, share this video. And now, brothers and sisters, for those of us who are ready to say to kick yo-yo dieting and falling on and off and giving in to the devil and 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 filling our brain up with all of this junk that has us lethargic and unable to fight. If you're ready to get rid of the sin of not fulfilling the health promise in the scriptures in your life, you tired, you don't, you ain't no different. People believe worship in the devil and they in better health than you. If you're tired of that, of, 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 of believers in Jesus Christ being made fun of for how fat and sick and pathetic our health is. And bow your heads and let's pray together so we can once and for all soar in April 2024 and beyond. Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive us for not being vigilant. That's why we have this fourth component of spontaneous recovery. Heavenly Father, we haven't been vigilant. You command us to be sober. We're not Heavenly Father. We fail to be sober. Forgive us. Cleanse us. From the things that have filled our brains. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for deadening our senses with toxic junk foods, murdered animal flesh that has deadened our ability to be vigilant against Satan. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for getting weary in the fight. When you say, Heavenly Father, that if we commit ourselves to you, we'll run and not be weary. We'll walk and not faint. Forgive us. Give us the faith to believe in these scriptures that state that you'll give us wings as an eagle and that we'll soar high above any temptation that comes our way. Oh, forgive us, Heavenly Father, for quoting these scriptures over and over and really not believing them. Heavenly Father, we recognize that we have put our stomach before you. We have put our taste buds, our cravings before you. Heavenly Father, we recognize we haven't been as vigilant. There are areas in our lives, Heavenly Father, where we have not been as vigilant. Forgive us. Forgive us for not mastering the times of boredom when they, they are times to connect with you but we fill that time with frivolous entertainment. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for questioning your medicine fruits, for questioning your way. We do everything the doctor and man says, but when it's time to do it your way, we have a thousand. Forgive us for our disobedience, our rebellion, our lack of vigilance, and now help us, Heavenly Father, 
empower us in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach to wipe out everything and anyone in our lives that will cause us to lose our vigilance so we can now take on the full armor and now with the power of committing ourselves to you, committing our taste buds to you, we can be indefatigable with 24 hours a day. We wage the war against our flesh and through waging that war. Heavenly Father, now we can dedicate our time as healthy, fit, sober, vigilant soldiers for you. Now we can be the proper ambassadors for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I rebuke all satanic and demonic enforces, fluences. I rebuke the flesh, the subconscious mind, the dopamine rush. Heavenly Father, I rebuke yo-yo dieting. I rebuke, rebuke the hopelessness, the helplessness. I rebuke anything and anyone contrary to us getting on track and stand on track in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when. The next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50 percent off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The Minister of Wellness dot com. This is the second package that I have the Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already it's already priced at half off. 50 percent off. No promo code needed. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important. That is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2, D3 with K2, B12, DHA, EPA, and zinc. Those are the big five. And we have those five available, organic, high quality, and potent. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. Or click the link in the description box in pin comment section. I appreciate your support. You know how to give the cash app, the Zelle, uh, the ministry. I'll put it right towards here. You all know that I do what I say I'm going to do with your money, right? You all know that about me by now. Stop watching my videos if you're leeching off of me. If you don't have a heart to give, stop watching my videos. Unsubscribe and watch somebody else. I don't care. I'd rather have 20 loyal supporters um, than to have a bunch of leeches, a bunch of selfish leeches uh, soaking up my gift as helping you in your life and you don't have no care in the world for what our people are going through and stop comparing America to Africa. There's no comparison.